In this tutorial, we're going to mount the camera, force torque sensor, and the end effector on our robot. To this end, we go over the components you need. Some components come with a mirror kit, others you need to supply yourself. Let's start by identifying the components that are not supplied with the mirror kit. First one is a big one, the robot. In our case, we're using a UR5E by Universal Robots. The force torque sensor, in our case, a force torque sensor by OnRobot. The gripper or end effector, in our case, we're using a custom 3D printed gripper. Please also do not forget to bring your own tools in order to be able to mount everything. Now, let's look at the components that are indeed supplied with the mirror kit. First one is the camera, the camera lens, we're also supplying ring light, ring light adapter, and a 3D printed camera holder. We're also supplying all screws that are required to mount your setup. We start with the camera, which will function as the robot's eyes. We need to attach the camera to the camera mount. We put the screws through the holes on the mount. Using a screwdriver, fix them to the camera. Make sure the orientation is right. When you position this Ximea camera on the mount, the plug for the cable should be on the side of the mount. With our camera here, if you put the grouping on a table, the camera should face up. The port is on the lower side. Now, let's attach the camera lens. Just carefully screw it into place. Finally, let's screw the ring light adapter to the ring light and attach that to the lens. The next step is to attach the Fostalk sensor's base plate to the camera mount. Now we can add this to the flange. The camera mount has a through hole that should match the hole on the flange. Use the supplied screws to fix this into place. Make sure these screws are tight. The camera shouldn't move after your installation and these screws are hard to reach later on. It's good practice to orient the robot with the flange pointing up when mounting the end effector. Also take note that for most use cases, no matter what end effector you use, the camera mount is the first thing that goes on the stack. Now, it's time to install the force torque sensor. The sensor fits naturally on the base plate. This is secured with the supplied screws. All that's left is to attach the gripper. This is where you would mount any other kind of end effector you have. Here, we attach the tool side quick changer. We can then mount the gripper. The gripper should be oriented parallel with the camera.
we did it. We have the robot flange, the camera mount, the camera, the force torque sensor, and the interfactor. Mounting these parts is one of several steps in physical setup. We also need to cable together the remaining components in the mirror setup, as well as connect them in the network. We cover these steps in separate videos. But for now, thanks for your time. Thank you.